Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to perform Monte Carlo simulation with a very simple example here of investing 100,000 annually for a period of 10 years for an instrument with an average return of 10% uh, and standard deviation of 20% and the data are normally distributed. So that's the assumption. So the Monte Carlo simulation is basically accounting for uncertain things, uncertain events, uncertain assumptions, and then from that uncertain assumptions, you'll use random values and then simulate it over and over again, like a thousand times, 10,000 times, and then from that simulation, you get some probabilities of getting your desired result. So that's basically the end of Monte Carlo. You have probabilities or chances or percentage of chance at the end of it, but not exactly the actual amount because uh, because of uncertainty, because of the risk. So uh, let's go back to the example. So we have uh, a period here, one to 10, and the first thing that we will do is to uh, generate a random return per year. So to do that, because the data are normally distributed, we're going to use norm inverse formula in Excel to do that. For the probability, we will use a randomizer, which is the rand formula, comma. The mean is the average return here, and then the standard deviation is in here. Then uh, close it, lock the uh, average return and a standard deviation, and then you'll create a random return for year one. Then just copy and paste it here until uh, the end of 10 year, when you press F9, it is changing because it's random. Now, uh, the second thing is to calculate the earnings, the investment plus the earnings per year. So to do that, it is uh, basically a simple formula. For year one, you have 100,000 here, and then you, you get the earnings, one plus the return here, if there is, and then that's an enter. For year two, that's different. You have this earnings plus investment, if, if there is an earnings, plus uh, your new investment here multiplied by the uh, return, one plus the return, if there is a return. And that's it. Now, we're going to lock this part because we're going to copy and paste it here until the end of 10th year. And that's it. And that's correct. That's correct now. Now, when you press F9 again, of course, this is changing. Now, uh, what we're interested in this calculation is the result at the end of the 10th year. That is the final amount uh, on this case. And then we're going to copy that. And then we're shifting now to Monte Carlo. We're going to create 10,000 series of this simulated result here. And to do that, we're going to use the data table in the what-if analysis. But first, let me have this uh, series here. So 10,000 is too many. So we're going to use the uh, home tab here. And then go to the uh, field series here. Field and then a series. And then uh, choose the columns. The step value is 1 and the stop value is 10,000. And that's it, you created the 10,000 series here. Now, uh, after that, select all of that, including the, the, the result in the 10th year, and then uh, go to data, what if analysis, data table, and ignore the row input cell. And in the column input cell, just pick any blank cell in your worksheet, any blank cell, because that is automatically being read by Excel to generate this uh, random values here. And OK. Now you have simulated 10,000 times this formula here. And that's it. Now, uh, what is the amount that you will get? We don't know exactly what it is. It's changing, as you can see. But we can get uh, some uh, average on that, mean or max, for example. So let me try that. What is the the mean, the average? I'll get the average for this 10,000 series here. And you got this amount, which is uh, when you press F9, it's not really changing. It varies very little. 
And for the uh, max and mean, let me check that. I'm just going to copy and paste it to replace the, the average with the max formula. Oh, the max formula. And that's it. And then another one for the mean. For the mean. And that's it. You can have either a minimum of this amount or a maximum of 1.3 or an average of 1. That could be the interpretation for that. But to get you some comfortable conclusion for that using the Monte Carlo, we will use the probability for that. So uh, an example for that is that when you have 100,000 annually and just save it without earnings or accounting for the inflation, you go, you'll get uh, 1 million at the end of the 10 years. This is a very straight computation. I want to ask myself what is the probability or the chance of me getting a value that is uh, equal to 1 million or above or greater. So that is uh, my comfort zone. What is my chance of getting that uh, value given I'm going to invest for 10 years on this instrument. So to do that, just use the count if, and then use your simulated result here, and then the criteria will be greater than or, or equal, and then go backspace here. And then I'm gonna use ampersand here to connect the cell here, and then just divide it with the number of series, and that's it. Now, the interpretation for that is that you, you will have a 94% chance of getting a million or above in this investment with these assumptions here. But is there a chance of you getting a value lower than 1 million? Yes, there is, and that is the 6%. And that's it. I'm pretty sure I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe to my channel and see you next time, and thanks.